Hello, my name is Karim Longwe. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use GenStat to come up to develop your research design and then most importantly to even make your data sheets as simple as that. So to do that, I'm, I'm going to use GenStat. Let's open GenStat. You go to Stats. On GenStat, you go to Stats. And then you go to design and a design you go to generate standard design generate standard design click there after i click generate standard design it will come up with a generate standard design and then it's a drop down list where you have several things you have design one way design in randomized block design then you have blocks here you have plots and you have treatment factors so we start with selecting what is the plan what is the design that we want to use um, for us we, have, we want to use the one way design randomized block design so we have to use this if you have if you, you are using one way design but no blocking then you better use this or completely randomized design so if um i choose one way design and then i'm saying i'm going to have four blocks and then I change here I have five treatment that's it if I, if I say I'm having five treatments then it's going to show me how many number you number of units these are sometimes number of plots when you are that's farming experiment click run and when you click run the first thing that comes up is the data sheet this is the basic data sheet that I'm going to use and then if you go to window output if you go to window output you are going to see this is the layout plot layout that, that's how it's going to be on the ground here you can read the same treatment combination on each unit of the design so let's start organizing the data sheet first okay to do this we are going to save this in excel so that we should have a better design that we are going to use on ground here we go you save it and then we got okay here we have our document that we saved so at this point you don't need plot number i think these are just randomly generated numbers you don't need them and the number of plot you can keep number of plot you cannot but let's say we keep it so we have um, this is basically block plot and then treatment under treatment you can change this to you can rename them to the treatment name that you, you you have so to do that you do simple thing as find and replace let's say find one and replace with treatment one t1 uh, then so on and so forth for the rest of numbers and treatments Okay, here we go. We are done with this, and then what you can do next is just add the parameters that are going to collect. Let's say we're going to collect height, we're going to measure height. Let's say we're going to measure number of pods. Let's say we're going to measure leaf length.
Okay, if you want to have a good visualization of this, you can copy it and uh, report it in Microsoft Word. That's it. So I'll be collecting in plot one, in block one, plot one, treatment one. Four. That means in plot three of treatment five and so on and so forth. So let's see how we can come up with our plot layout. We go back to just that window. And then you can copy this. Copy to Excel so that you go organize it. Just a matter of organization. So one should be replaced with block one. That's the number of block here. This is block. And then these are your treatments, so you can also replace them with the treatment names by using find and replace. Okay, so similarly, if you want to have a good visualization, first, um, and copy it to Microsoft Word. Okay. After pasting, you can enlarge this and then let's make board. Board here. That's it. So, this is your plot layout. That means in plot one, in block one, plot one, you're going to put treatment one. In block two, plot one, you're going to put treatment two. In block three, treatment one, in plot one, you're going to put treatment two randomly blocked thank you Love, love, love.